The question that I get asked the most on Instagram and TikTok is how I do my lips. So today I just want to do a quick video uh, showing you how I do my lips. Please ignore the background. It keeps getting grosser and grosser every video because they're doing construction, but this just happens to be the only place I can film right now. So, oh well, we'll ignore it. But yeah, let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see my lips more clearly. I already put on lip balm a little while ago, so um, that is always the first step of my lips. So since that's done, I'm going to go on to the second step, which is contour. I'm going to use this light gray color from the ColourPop Darth Vader palette. And I'm going to take a blending brush, like an eyeshadow blending brush, and... I'm kind of like thinning the brush out a bit, like flattening it, and putting this underneath my bottom lip. to kind of make it look bigger. And then I'm also gonna put this in my filtrum, leaving a gap between the contour and my lips because I'm gonna end up over drawing and like sponging out my lips quite a bit. So there's no need to put it there. The lipstick I'm gonna use is from Romantic Beauty. Uh, it's like a reddish brown, like a brick color. And I'm just gonna like tap this onto my lips. It smells like candy. I love using it for that reason. I want to eat it. So I just rub my lips together and then I'm going to use my ring finger to blend out the edges. I already start to kind of go above my lips, um, just in the middle smudge it upwards. I don't do that as much around the sides. Like maybe a bit, but not as much as I do at the um, Cupid's bow. Just cause it keeps it a little bit more natural looking. I don't think these lips are natural, but you know, not like super, super noticeably fake. So once the lipstick's on, I'm going to use an eyeshadow from the Tarte in Bloom palette I've used in every single video. And it's gonna be the orangey brown one, Rebel. I'm taking this on a blending brush. I'm just gonna put this at my Cupid's bow. And I'm gonna flatten my lips down. It'll just make the color go on smoother when you're blending it over a flat area. I'm bringing this down the sides of my lip as well, but again, I'm not like overdrawing that super heavily. I'll also put this at my bottom lip. I don't overextend my bottom lip as much as the top, just because my top lip is really the one that I want to make look bigger. I'm now going to take a lip liner from Half Magic Beauty. And this is in I'll Pray For You. It's just a brown lip liner. I'm going to put this at my Cupid's bow to kind of, again, help the illusion of my lips being like naturally bigger. And I bring this down the sides of my lip too. And then just using my finger to really lightly blend that in. Also gonna put this on my bottom lip. And again, use my finger really gently to blend it in. Sorry, I'm squinting so much. I'm trying to like see so that I don't have my mirror like right up here. And I'm not going to the corners of my mouth um, with the lip liner just because I want to keep it looking as like soft as possible and I find that Putting the lip liner all the way to the corners makes my lips look a bit more harsh I take a bit more of the eyeshadow and just blend this out again a bit more Right in the center So that's pretty much it. I will show you another variation um, just like building upon this. So taking a the brown right next to the one that I just used, uh, Leader, I'm going to use the same brush and put this at the corners of my mouth. 
Putting a darker color there will always help make your lips look bigger. And then this is something that I do a lot. Um, I use a red lipstick. I'm gonna use the ColourPop uh, Lip Cream in Scrunchie. And I will put this in the center of my lips. I love the combination of the red and the brown. And I just tap it out with my finger really lightly. And that's it for this variation. Of course you can do this technique with any color you want. There's endless combinations of lips you could do with this technique. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much how I do my lips every single time. This has just become like a necessity for me in doing my makeup. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you try it out. Let me know if you do. If you want to subscribe, that'd be cool of you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.